All right, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. We're doing another monthly recap and obviously this is October. Now at this point, I think you guys are familiar with this style of video, but I just talk about all of my monthly pickups and really dive a little bit deeper into why I bought some of these items and what my use is gonna be for them and ultimately how much they cost as well and how I'm liking them so far. So with that said, let's get into it. First up is the Adidas Sambas and I'm an American, so we say Adidas here, but I've been watching so many UK YouTubers, they all call it Adidas. And now I literally can only call it that. It's pretty funny. But anyway, I went with the Sambas because honestly, I did get influenced here. I've been pushing it off and thinking that it's probably not my style but the more I saw them, the more I liked them. So I went with this nice black colorway and it also has a gum sole, which I think is a really nice touch too. I just didn't think it was my style because it's a little bit sportier and definitely gave off soccer or football vibes for my UK friends out there. And I just didn't really think that I could style it properly, but I'm actually super happy with it. I picked these up for $100 from the Adidas employee store, which was pretty cool. And I really am excited to be wearing these with a lot of casual fits. I think pairing them with something like a sweatpant is a really nice look. And that's something I'm gonna mention later in the video as well as a piece that I picked up. But overall, I'm just actually really happy with it. I don't have buyer's remorse here, even though I felt like I was stretching my comfort zone a little bit. I'm super excited to be wearing these shoes. They're pretty comfortable and I'm getting a lot more use out of them than I honestly expected that I would. Another shoe I picked up is the Birkenstock Boston. And again, this is kind of a shoe that I got influenced with, but. I bought the Birkenstocks, the regular ones, the Arizonas, about three or four months ago. I posted a monthly recap about those, and I was just shocked how much I loved them. So then I saw the Bostons and knew that it would be a great fall and winter shoe. And again, honestly, I'm just blown away by the comfort of them. I think they're absolutely amazing. And I do personally think that the looks of these shoes are great. You know, some people don't really love them, which I can certainly understand. You know, not everybody's going to like the style of them but I think they're super cool. And yet again, just another pretty casual shoe. But but even we went out to dinner last night and I paired them with a pair of pants and a nice hoodie. And overall, I still thought it was a great fit. Now these were about 160 bucks, I think. So definitely a little bit pricey, but they're gonna last you forever. And I just went with the black color to play it safe because I don't have that many black shoes in my wardrobe. So I knew this would be a great addition for the fall. So far, so good. No buyer's remorse on either of those items. And I'm just really loving them as new shoe additions. Another item that I'm always talking about is the Abercrombie Vintage Inspired Tees. And they find finally came out with a cropped version, which I was so excited about because I've really been looking for a cropped tee to add into my wardrobe. So I went with a couple here. The color options were pretty limited. So I went with an off-white and a black pattern, which is essentially just a black wash version. And for sizing, I went with a medium. Typically they cost 28 or $29, give or take, but I have a code that you can use, which I will link below in the description to get another 15% off. So at that point, you know, they're like 21, 22 bucks, which is a really good deal for this high quality, super soft, great looking shirt. Now, the reason I've been looking for a crop style tee is honestly just because I think it does help elongate your legs and make you look a little bit taller overall and definitely helps with your fits looking a lot more proportionate. So if you have your shirt cut off right at your belt line, that's a really nice way to add in some style to your fits. And again, like I said, just have that nice rule of thirds going for you. So your legs look longer, which gives you obviously the perception of looking taller and therefore hopefully being a little bit more attractive. Anyways, I absolutely love these tees. I've talked about the regular vintage tees in the past, and I'm just so glad that Abercrombie kind of knew what was going on and came up with the cropped version. So I would definitely recommend picking up a pair of these. Okay, I teased it just a little bit earlier, but going with a good pair of sweatpants is an absolute must for the fall. And I also mentioned this on my last video, Autumn Essentials too. Again, I went back to Abercrombie and picked these up just because I personally do think the best bang for your buck when it comes to sweatpants and hoodies is Abercrombie. They fit great, they're really high quality, and most importantly, they're extremely comfortable. I just went with a nice heather gray because I think it's the most timeless look. It's super classic and girls kind of like that look in the fall. So I definitely would pick up a pair if you're kind of looking for a pair of sweatpants. I think this is a good option to go with and they have a ton of different other color options as well. I also went and got the Lululemon Relaxed Tapered Trouser. Now you might be saying that sounds familiar. I know you've talked about that before but I loved them so much that I had to go and get a black pair. I have some black wash denim, but not a straight black pant, surprisingly, in my wardrobe. So I knew this would be a great addition because just so many times I find myself being like, wow, I really do need a, just a plain black pair of pants. Now, one little thing that I do is I take advantage of Lululemon's free hems. So I do go in and get it hemmed about an inch. So there's a natural crease at the bottom of the pant that I'll show here, but that's exactly where I tell them to take off about an inch at the bottom. And I don't even have to try the pants on in the store, which is just really simple. I think that slightly cropped look just helps the pants sit a little bit better on the leg. And overall, that's personally my aesthetic as well. Now, obviously you don't have to do that. And if you're a little bit taller, like for me, I'm only 5'11". So if you're taller than that, obviously, they're probably gonna look a little bit naturally cropped anyway, which is great. And if you're shorter than that, obviously, then you can just crop a little bit more off. So keep that in mind. If that's your style, I think that's a great path to go down. But yeah, these are not cheap. They're $128, but I've had the Nomad color for well over a year now. 
And just again, with anything with Lululemon, you know you're getting absolute great quality and you're paying for the fit and they're gonna last you a really long time. So yes, while they are really expensive, you're not gonna have to replace them pretty much ever. And even if they do need to be replaced, Lululemon will just do that for free for you. Trust me, I've done it before. Another pant I went with is the Abercrombie Workwear Jean and I'm not gonna harp on it too much because I've mentioned it in so many videos, but I'm really just trying to put everybody onto them. I went with a light brown color instead and also shortened the length that I went with last time. So before I went with a 32 inch length and here I went with a 30 and it made a world of difference in terms of the fit. The last ones just look so baggy and there was a lot of extra room in the groin area and it just did not look flattering to me. I don't know, I didn't really love it. So sizing down in terms of length really helped with just the overall fit and how the pant lays again. And I just think it looks great. So, but that's enough about those pants. I talk about them so much, but I really do just love them and workwear jeans are really, really hot right now. Okay, this is a completely new item and probably a brand you've actually never even heard of before, but I went with a nice over shirt from Seven Diamonds. Now this was really, really pricey at $125. So, you know, might not be for everybody, but I think the look of it is super nice. Obviously the color is just beautiful. I think this design and pattern just looks so great. But more importantly than that, the quality is really, really impressive. That's what Seven Diamonds is all about. I think they're pretty comparable, honestly, to Lululemon in a lot of respects. But again, I do think this is a super unique piece. I get people asking me all the time on some of these other platforms, where am I getting these over shirts? So I would definitely check them out. If you do have the money for it, I highly recommend it and you will not be disappointed with the comfort and quality of this piece. So I recently took some engagement photos at Cannon Beach here in Oregon. It was absolutely beautiful, but I needed a nice sweater. So I went over to J. Crew and ended up getting a cashmere sweater. Now, you know me, a beige baby. I played it safe and just went with a nice like cream beige sweater, but I just went that path because it's super simplistic. And I knew no matter how long I have it, hopefully for many, many years to come, since it is more of an expensive of fabric that I'm not gonna get sick of the color and you can never go wrong with just a nice neutral. Now I opted for a large here and I'm glad I did because after I washed it, even on cold, it did shrink just a touch, more so like around the, the thickness in the arms. It just makes me look a little bit more muscular. So I'm not too mad about that. But I do plan on wearing this a lot as a dressier piece and also just would be a great addition for layering too. So if you're looking for a great sweater, I highly recommend this one. Again, it is pricey, but cashmere is one of those items that is just so high quality. It's insanely soft. It's, I, I feel a little bit bougie, honestly, having this piece of clothing. All right, but on the other end of the spectrum, if you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, I would go with a crew neck sweatshirt from Target's brand, Goodfellow. It's insane to me that these are only $20. They're super soft. And one call out that I do have is obviously, typically more times than not, you do get what you pay for, but I think this is the best bang for your buck item from Target's brand. It is slightly thinner, so I wouldn't wear it as like a standalone piece, but to use this as a layering item would be great. Or if it's just a cooler evening, you could still get away with wearing this. But what I do love about it is the fit is just great. Again, it's extremely affordable and it's really, really soft. So I do love this piece, honestly. I think it's extremely worth it, especially only for $20. And I needed some more nice crew neck sweatshirts for layering. And this is an item I mentioned in my fall and winter jackets video, but it's the Carhartt Detroit jacket. I cannot rave enough about this item. I honestly went to Dick's Sporting Goods just to try it on and see how it would be and maybe get it and use it for a video and possibly return it. Because a lot of times I do like to try things on for for my TikTok and everything like that. But once I actually tried this item on immediately, it was one of those things where I was like, great, like I'm, I'm going home with this. So I did, and it's $120, which honestly isn't too bad. And for a Carhartt, again, I'm, I'm just shocked with how nice the quality is. I talked about it a lot in that video, so I'm gonna keep it brief, but I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a good over shirt jacket. And we're gonna jump back to Target's brand Goodfellow and go with the heavyweight flannel. And this is only 35 bucks. I mentioned it again in that jacket video, but it's just a great piece. And again, for only $35, like why wouldn't you add this to a wardrobe? Heavyweight flannels are nice just because they have a little bit more structure to them. And I think they look a little bit more elevated than just your typical Joe Schmo flannel. So I like that. And also the patterns that they offer are great, but this one in particular, definitely is my favorite. Now I can definitely say more items than not have not been shown on this channel at all, which is really cool. And I hope you guys like that as well. I try to obviously add in a lot of things that are new to you. So it's not repetitive in any way for you guys, but I do still like to recap some of the stuff you've seen from past videos, just because I feel like it's a little bit different of a perspective than me just saying, you know, why this item is so cool and this and that, and you know, really having it be just a totally different video concept. So that's why I still include them in this type of video. And I hope you guys do appreciate that. I'm not trying to like repeat content or anything like that, 
but I just like to give you guys my full perspective on it. And this is usually kind of like the place where I can do that because it's more of a vlog style and it's definitely different than my other videos. So, and you guys seem to like it, which I think. So hopefully you guys continue to do so. Please give it a thumbs up if you do feel that way and comment below. Obviously I'd love to engage with you guys, answer any questions you may have or anything like that. Or just let me know how you're doing, honestly. I appreciate that too. And other than that, as usual, guys, I will see you on next week's video.